Testing. Okay. All right. Uh, this next piece that we're going to play for you is our wind ensemble, and it's based upon O Holy Night, and it's a beautiful arrangement by a composer by the name of Robert W. Smith, who writes a ton of music for this age group, and he put a Celtic flair to it. So enjoy this beautiful arrangement of Celtic Holy Night. Thank you. 
season they pulled it out um, this tonight I mean almost a whole year of not playing and now they're playing at the level that they're playing tonight that just shows you the dedication and the hard work that they put into this band program and I absolutely love it so give them a round of applause Woo! keep the tradition alive and keep building it, even if it's just a little something here or there. There are many opportunities in the boosters that you could uh, seek, uh, you know, just say, hey, I could help with this or I could help with that. Any little help is grateful uh, just to keep something like this going strong. So uh, think about that. All right, uh, next thing, there's a couple things in your program. Just to show you how dedicated these young individuals are, uh, there's many opportunities above and beyond what we offer here and they, they take it on. For example, there is a thing called the YSU uh, Symphony Orchestra. I know Finn, you're in love with that. Yeah, and then, yeah, Finn, yeah, Finn, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a, an audition group called Standlaw Band, and uh, Robbie, you auditioned for that and you got in, so congrats on that. audition group, but we had a lot of fun. It's called To The Christmas. If you're involved with To The Christmas Stand Up, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred baritone and tuba players playing Christmas music. That'll put you in the spirit. All right. And then finally, we had this thing uh, not too long ago. They put it on. Uh, it's called an honors band. Uh, we nominate and they audition for this. And we had four of our students uh, into this band. And we were there and we were a part of it. And it was a phenomenal, phenomenal performance. One of the best that I've heard in the 20 plus years I've been doing this. Uh, it's just, uh, so yeah, we had Robbie, Luke, Zach, and oh, Connor. Yes, so take a bow on that one. You guys did a fantastic job.
And the nice thing, the nice thing that Stamba Auditorium is doing, and take advantage of this, is um, they have they live stream all of their performances, and then they put them on YouTube later. In fact, that's how I was able to listen to Finn's performance uh, with the yeah, with the the new role, and I was able to hear your Stamba and Tuba Christmas is on there, Honors Band is on there. So if you're bored and you're just looking for something different. Uh, Stanbaugh is very fortunate to do that, so take advantage of that. Any live uh, performance, I mean, you can't beat that. Alright, well, enough of my sob, but I love everybody, because I really do. It's been a fantastic year so far. Uh, I, I see the officers over here as you need to be quiet, so I think they have something to say. Hello. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hi. Um, yes, I'm Robbie. I'm the band president. Uh, this is Julia Palumbo, vice president, and Madison Curley, our secretary. Um, so, um, we did, we, the officers mainly coordinate with Mr. Nessich and Ms. Lewis uh, with uh, the marching band, and I think we really put on a great show for everyone this year. Um, so thank you, band members, uh, for putting in the hard work. Um, and thank you to the audience for coming to, to the games and supporting us and supporting the football team. Um, the concert program, the concert theme of, the, uh, of this year has been really good as well. All the bands sounded very fantastic. Um, so we just wanted to uh, give our appreciation to Mr. Nessich and Mrs. Lewis for all the hard work they do. Um, we, got, we got you some gifts. Um, they really deserve it. Uh, they don't get enough attention for what they do. Uh, they manage over 200 kids, multiple band programs. Uh, as well as Mr. Scott Killian, who does the jazz band and the cap band. Give it up for Scott! idea and um, there's another person involved with this and this other person was so kind to help me out uh, you, you, you might know him I don't know if you know him or not this is my son Otis okay and we're going to because this is as we call our band family so I guess I'm dad and I'm gonna read you the story. Come on.
here? I can read from here. How about that? I'll read from here. Sound good? Okay. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna have my beautiful wife Sarah join us as well. <laughs> Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. I feel like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave lusters of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering I should appear, a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment that it must be St. Nick. His horses they came, and he whistled, and he shouted, and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top, the courses they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew
through in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> oh, he was a chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. <laughs> straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. Exclaim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.